engineering economics is at the surface fairly straightforward and simple because all we're doing is a bunch of algebra but it is difficult to understand the intuition behind what you're really doing and to fundamentally understand what the numbers are that you are arriving at and so what I'm going to do in this video is work through a problem in which we're trying to determine the annual cost of a heat exchanger and the reason you would want to do this in the first place is because you would need to justify to your supervisor if you were an engineering practice that that heat exchanger is worth it each year based on an interest rate that you're getting from the bank and so um, commonly on exams uh, especially in operative chemi classes you're going to be given the formulas because memorizing these formulas is pointless because they're all tabulated and you can just look them up it's knowing which formulas to apply and when that is a challenge and so we're going to look first through this problem statement we're told that a heat exchanger costs 1000 bucks installed so we can buy the heat exchanger and have it fully installed into our plant for a thousand dollars and it's going to require eighty dollars per year to maintain in addition it has a salvage value of three hundred dollars after five years so this means that after five years of operation we can sell the scrap metal for 300 bucks and assuming that we have an interest rate of 13 percent what this means is we can go to the bank and get a loan or we can issue bonds at a 13 percent interest rate per year and so our goal here is to determine based on this interest rate and these parameters what is the annual cost of this heat exchanger and uh, so if you want to pause the video and take a shot at it please go ahead and i'm going to start to work through it and so the first thing to note here is that the key equations we're going to be interested in are converting our present value which is this one thousand dollars that we're gonna have to spend up front right now to get this heat exchanger installed as well as this three hundred dollars but it's going to only be there after five years so what we're going to have to do is convert a lump sum that we pay right now into an annual cost and also convert a dollar figure that we're going to get in the future to an annual cost or an annual uh, windfall you could think of it as and so the first equation we're going to be using and going with is this one thousand dollar figure that we're going to be spending right up front and so our goal here is to convert 2a given p to our annual cost given a present a present value and so the equation we're going to be using uh, right here is this one where i denotes the interest rate that we can get our loans from for the from the bank and so um, the annual cost i'll denote it ac will be equivalent to one thousand dollars times this factor here where we have i times one plus i raised to the n over one plus i raised to the n minus one and um, i here is this 13 percent value and n is the number of years so we've got five years of service that we are interested in determining our annual cost in okay so we're going to be sending thousand bucks up front we're normalizing this into an annual cost value the next thing we're going to be doing is taking into account that eighty dollars per year in maintenance and another thing that is important with engineering economics is just like all of the other classes we've taken in chemical engineering dimensions and note here how we're dealing with dollars per time dollars per year so our annual cost is going to have units of dollars per time so we're already given this maintenance value so this is really nice because we know it's 80 bucks a year we can just tack it on right now as it is because we know that we're going to spend 80 bucks per year maintaining our heat exchanger and then finally uh, we're going to be taking into account the recovery costs or you know the, how much we're going to be able to salvage our heat exchanger for after we sell it or after we can sell the scrap metal from it after we've used it up and we don't need it anymore because we're going to buy a new one and so the salvage costs were 
going to be subtracting from our annual cost because these are essentially like a double negative, we're getting this money back. So it's not really an expense, it's more of a, uh, a money you get. So what we're gonna do in this case is consider this $300 as this future money you can, you can have, but in three years time. So that $300, because it's not in your pocket right now, is gonna be worth less than $300 uh, in the future. So what we have to do in this case is convert this future value of $300 to an annual cost or an annual surplus. And so we're going to turn to this equation right here in which we're going to make use of our interest rate again. So we're gonna have 300 times i over one plus i raised to the n minus one. And so as we continue to just plug in these values and just to spell it out, we have i equals 0 0.13. We have n is equal to five years. And it's really just a matter of algebra at this point, but we will have 1000 times 0 0.284 plus 80 minus 300 times 0 0.154. And if we sum all these quantities up, we will find that our annual cost is equivalent to $317 per year. And so what this tells us is that we're going to need our heat exchanger to be um, making or generating at least $317 per year in profit for us to justify having it in the first place. And maybe it's an essential item that you would need regardless. And so you could think of the other things beyond that. But um, the point is here, we were able to look at the startup costs for our process. And then uh, based on an interest rate that we can get from the bank, as well as a salvage value, we can determine how expensive this unit is in our process per year. And so this is going to wrap things up for this annual cost video. I hope you guys find it useful and thanks for watching.